What's up? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Livecast. It's Monday night after Easter, after Passover. It's all over. It's all over, done now, but the, the eating of the leftover ham and brisket. Brisket for my people and ham for, well, your people. Yeah. Unless you're my people, then you're eating brisket. <laughs> if you're our people, you're stoked. I love that we both have those, we have those foods that, it's cool. that work. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Passover ain't nothing without brisket. Yeah. Chicken, really? duck, I don't know what, bring, bring everything you want. If there's not some form of brisket at the table, is not Passover for me. Like Easter probably means ham. Did you have ham? Uh, oh. Uh, traditionally, I don't have ham. I've Ethiopian never had. Yeah. Christmas. Uh, Easter. Lamb? Lamb you might have. I might have lamb, but I asked my mom to make me the chicken dish. But I did go to a friend's house and they had a big ham. They did. And that was the first time I ever had ham on Easter. I thought it was a... I thought it was a no, I think it's a traditional thing. Lynn? I fall into... Yeah, I mean, I think Easter ham is what everybody gets, right? I can't hear my... Uh, pardon me while I do this. Here. I know everybody gets mad if I do this, but it's not a big deal. Just let me see if it's my, my battery. You know, we've had <laughs> battery problems before. You know, it's not, maybe it's not the most professional thing, but I gotta just... This show is not the same if I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Excuse me while I get myself a battery. <laughs> At one point, we were going to check this or something. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. At least we have them I close. think in between your two drinks, you're supposed to check it. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Happy Monday. Yep. Hope everybody enjoyed the holiday weekend. There we go. Yeah? You can hear us now? There, there you go, back. bud. Shit. How'd that battery taste? It tastes like nothing. <laughs> so it had a slight wait. taste of metal to it. For those that don't know... You can test a 9-volt battery by licking it. <laughs> yeah, we've learned that. <laughs> Where is it? It's like See, this. you always learn something. Well, now what are you doing, man? I don't, getting the 9 I don't volt know if that's so common knowledge. I show people how to do this. Really? Licking the 9-volt? I don't think that's common knowledge. Really? If you use 9 volts a lot, I think it's common knowledge. If it's not, so look at What you have to do is you have to create a connection at the same time between the two terminals on the top of the battery. You can't lick one post and decide and then like the other you have to have your tongue across both of them at the same time like this and when you do it like that i'm getting just a the most minor of little shocks nothing so wait okay so is that if it if it gives you a big shock do you know that it's full absolutely oh yeah oh okay, yeah you so know if when it's a it's little full. shock then it's not you know when it's full you this is a, nothing you want a nine volt battery to try no right thank now? you no, no, no. <laughs> i'm okay you want me to do it we just saw you do it like no i'll do it a fresh one uh, uh fresh uh, one kind in, of in pump you want me to do it <laughs> oh god i say all to all the viewers if you have a brand new nine volt sitting there just take you're it not out. gonna break it's not gonna break it no i won't break no it won't break it but you'll just get my reaction i won't fake any of this right so here's this it wakes you up. Who eats this shit? Batteries. <laughs> and here's this. I'm scared to even do it. <laughs> don't, Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> that's not good. You don't want to do that. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, so we were in Palm Springs for Passover. Mm. And, uh, Saturday afternoon. I'm making chopped liver. Which, by the way, I make a damn fine chopped liver. If you oh, like yeah? chopped liver. If you like chopped liver. <laughs> Lynn, do you like liver? Uh, I can't say I love liver, yeah. but you'll eat frickin' balut, no, but no. you won't have chopped liver. <laughs> I, here's the no, thing. it's all right. I Don't love... worry about it. Try and explain that. Go ahead, actually. Yeah. I was gonna say I love pate, which is all liver, but oh yeah, I love pate, but I, I can't do like liver and onions. I grew up eating that. I just I can't do it. What's but an liver, unborn though? fetus chicken still in the egg with embryonic liquid floating around it? That piece of cake i never said it's like a sucker a lollipop would be like amazing like a party in my mouth i said i would do it for the show and what you, you do said was you could eat the embryonic chicken in the egg with the liquid before you would have a shot of vinegar this that's is true. that's what you that said that is true nothing and about just for the show i don't or okay that's what i meant but for, <laughs> for as for the vinegar part that's completely true I, and I, fyi I like all of us here and i'm pretty certain every single person watching or listening from wherever the hell they're listening or watching from would agree that's messed up 
Hey, uh, dude, I'm eating an can ethnic Can we hear an amen on Facebook? <laughs> I just want to get them in here so you guys have to eat them, actually. Well, once again, I'm not going to. No, anyway, I was in Palm Springs are. on Saturday in my mom's kitchen <laughs> making chopped liver, and the, the sliding door was open and a fly got in. And I was pissed off. I don't like flies. They bother me. I try and get You've seen I've tried and do it here, right? I hate them. So she goes, oh, look what I've got. She's got one of those little baby metal tennis rackets. You've seen them? Yep. They're electronic fly swatters with a battery. Really? Have you not seen that? See if you could look it up. No. It looks like a tennis racket. It's this big. And the netting are wires, and it has a battery in it. I want two, one. Two AA batteries. You, you push the button, and you turn it on, and it now becomes this little electronic fence. Uh-huh. Wait. The, the fly is flying through the air, and you take the, this little tennis racket thing. There it is. And when the fly comes <laughs> really? in contact with the metal... It goes, and the no fly's way. dead. Yeah. What? Sound effects. How, totally. it, it electrocutes the fly right then and there. Okay? Wait, you, you can guys really it? never seen these? Yeah. This is like a staple totally at Camp Akifa. You hear a little thing. Little thing. So my mom gets it, and she's playing with it, and she goes, this thing doesn't work. It's the batteries, or it's broken. It's been on top of her fridge for So you licked it. Eight. No, I didn't lick <laughs> it. I so I just pick it up, and I know you have to hold the red button to make it do anything. And I hold the red button. I just go to bounce it off the bottom of my hand. And I got a shock. I jumped. Are you serious? It was so it was so intense. <laughs> so it, it imagine worked. the fly this big kills it right away. So it somebody worked. like me, it just pisses me off, and I had to <laughs> swear needlessly in front of my mother. Oh, geez. at least I'm you know the fly too. goes pretty quick. Fly yeah. goes very quick. <laughs> Even our family has problems with his swearing. No, my mom's okay. My mom watches with a friend of hers the live cast. Does she? Yes. She said, whenever I say something bad, her friend goes, it's okay. Throw out a I'm shout out cute. to your mom up in Canada. I told you my mom's friend. <laughs> um, I won't get this story again. What, what, who was it, Kelly? Uh, Rodberg? Who was it? Where? Sally Rodberg. Sally Rodberg. Oh, yeah. At 90, failed her driver's license test. Oh, yeah. And said that the 90? driver's license testing guy for failing her was an asshole <laughs> 90 i'm sure he was but sally i love you he was probably doing the right thing <laughs> not too many 90 year olds that sh should still be navigating the uh, true that yeah. wait can we talk about that a little bit because should they not have some form of testing for when you reach 65 70 75 well they do old? but i think they have to keep them to the same standards and the standards that they keep them to are do their eyes work and that's it i think if you keep your license up i don't know that they continue to put you behind the wheel and okay, they probably wait. should i'm sorry to interject i think lucky is up the street yeah, that or is something so weird he's never we just ever had a neighbor out of this we house. just had a neighbor come out here and tell us that how Whatever. weird is that, though? He's By never way, wandered out of this house on his own. We shoot this show at my house. Wow. Yes, we do. I can't wait to see his face when he comes in. Steve, hey, Steve, can you well, get a line on uh, the front also, door so yeah, we can see, see him see coming in? The little, the he little also little greeted me when I pulled when up today. Up. He actually came out to my car. Wow, he's feeling very really? free about this. That is oh, so weird. Look at Jilly's got Jilly's him. Got him. <laughs> Jilly's oh got him God, all the way out there. Oh, my God, what a bad little boy. That's hilarious. Where did he go, do you think? I don't know. Was he following some dog? Just exploring. Let's I, ask him. He actually, cute. It was actually, well, Haley's got an injured leg right now, so. Haley's, Haley's got a bad left, uh, bad right wing. Oh. Where did Bad Jilly back go? right wing. She looks at okay, though. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh. oh. Lucky. Lucky. Where were you? I think Lucky is heavier than Jilly. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, what was that? He was up the street. That is so is that weird. Dog, was he another dog, actually? He never wandered. Lucky. Look That's at me. That's bizarre. Lucky, don't you do that. <laughs> don't you do that. Oh, oh he doesn't care. <laughs> he knows he's cute and he can get away with it. Can I read you an email that I got? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. This came from X-Pro, whose name I don't know, still mm -hmm. in Russia. <laughs> Are you going to do it with the accent? Well, here's what the, the message says. Hello. Exclamation point. But it's not so funny how you think about Russian accent. <laughs> oh, no. A joke from previous live cast. Oh, no. But it's my favorite show ever. Oh. So, X-Pro. 
I think most people, I well, I think I believe it's a pretty good Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not everybody. I wasn't making fun of you. I was just trying to do my version of a Russian accent. And maybe the American Canadianized humor doesn't translate. <laughs> but when I said I wanted to speak to you in your own tongue, obviously everybody thought I would speak to you in Russian. I only spoke to you in a Russian accent. I, did, I do not mean to offend. It's okay. Sam does the same thing with Chinese. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I told Lynn, we went to dim sum yesterday for Zaki's 18th birthday. Mm -hmm. Uh, we took some of his friends and mom and me and Nana, one of the grandmas. And uh, on the way out of the restaurant, a large table of mostly Asian women stopped and asked if I would mind taking a picture with them. Sam, the cooking guy, would you mind taking a picture? I go, no, no, no. And so we take a picture and they're not... Um, uh, not English as a second language, but their, their English was not nearly as, as fluent as, you know, a born uh, American. We call them fobs. Fobs, fresh off the boat. Mm -hmm. See, <laughs> I figured if I said that, that I'd oh, get you. Yeah, anyway, you'd get big trouble. <laughs> I chose not to. And so uh, we take the picture. I shake a few hands. As I walk away, they started applauding. So now, I got to tell you, there is not much more awkward than that. <laughs> we got an applauder back here. You know what else is? Thank you. Clap. You know what else is aw uh, applauding awkward? Zach's lacrosse game. And I'm going to show that moment. Oh, I've got that geez. teed up. Wait, what? Zach had a lacrosse game Friday night against this their rivals. This is so good. I didn't even honor them by saying their name. <laughs> Zach's team lost. Oh. Though Zach's team beat them in the semis last year and then went on to win the whole thing. Anyway, this is the first time they've played. When one of their kids score, when one of our kids score, Zach School, Tory Pines, they play this music, right? Gets everybody in. Mm -hmm. When one of their kids score, they play an applause track. <laughs> Come on, really? Huh. They do. They They've got them. parents. Really? They've got parents in the stands applauding. So wait, that was actually a scandal in, I think, uh, Dallas. In the Dallas football st NFL stadium, they were pumping artificial... Oh, no, sorry. It's Indianapolis. During the playoffs, the NFL playoffs, Indianapolis Colts were pumping artificial noise into the stadium only when the other team was on offense. Are oh, you kidding? And it was completely... They came, I, thought it was, I thought it was strange. That's bizarre. But it's even more bizarre that they would pump it in only when they're on offense. That's right. no they so no they like, do what, it. what was the noise? No, when the other team is on offense because they it's too much themselves. so like yeah. let's distracting. Say, let's say it's a big third down and yeah. the no, I get home it. team is on defense and exactly it's when the noise is really loud But what was pump, the what do you know what the noise was? It was crowd noise, fan crowd noise, so they couldn't so it <laughs> was so mass so they couldn't tell. Wow. It's like doubling the noise because that leads to false starts and and other things that And they can't hear and they can't make their calls exactly, and stuff like that. Exactly. Okay, so check this out. So uh, take my screen, Lynn. Mm -hmm. What you're going to see is right here, number five is Zach, right? So, so keep your eye on number five because he gets hit by a kid who when he hits Zach, it's his second penalty. Uh -huh. The kid has already been penalized for an illegal hit. Here's his second illegal hit. Just pay attention here. Watch what happens here. Okay, so there's Zach's going to get the ball. Here he goes. He deeks Whoop. down. Ready? Whoop. Nice spin move. Look, picks it up, got, gets it back. Here goes. He's going to get it back again right after he throws this second time. Watch what the kid does. Here he goes. Ready? Makes another spin. Oh, nice move. Boom and boom. Oh. Oh, how bad is what? that? I can't even stand to watch it. It's, it's so bad. It's hard to watch. Look at Here, you can watch this is it where it gets more. worse because he just he can't even. Wow. Uh, you stopped it, Dan. Yeah. No, I, was, I thought I was going, I, I went back, but somehow it went. Uh, he didn't stand up very well, put it that way. Can you yeah. believe that? Is that? That's unbelievable to me. I mean, that's the sport. It's the that's the it's sport. Not, it's a that's a called an illegal cross check to the head. Well, okay, yes. But what I was saying is that's the sport. Sometimes you, there are No, I understand. But the sport is not an illegal cross check to the kid's head. Number 14. That's you as a as a sports parent, right? It's there. me as a parent. Mm -hmm. oh, what can I say? No, it's true. I mean, with the whole like bounty scam happening in the NFL, they're arguing like these players get paid, but should they not be hitting them like at 100? percent There's definitely a no, they there's should, absolutely. But you gotta, where you hit is important. Exactly, that, but it's a human being. Right. Uh, what Lynn is saying is that there's now a culture 
surrounding these contact sports where um, a big hit is something to be celebrated. Well, I say knocking after- someone on their ass and giving them a concussion. That's something to be celebrated as opposed to something that should be frowned upon. Of course, after this hit, you know, his teammates high five him mm-hmm. because that's Exa- you know, oh, exactly. Boy. Yeah. I mean, if you knock the kid down, I mean, I'm not opposed to a heavy hit. But you don't go for the head. Right. No, you don't go With for your head. stick and your hands up. That's just not, it's just not right. I'm sorry. I'm a parent and I'm, it's going to bother me who, no matter whose child it is. But jeez. So yeah, what he, happens after so many penalties? Does this kid get kicked out of the... Yeah, five. You have to get five. Five? Yeah, five outrageous penalties. Which I think penalties. that's five outrageous, four. Four five egregious game. penalties. If you took your stick and just whacked at some kid's head, you'd probably be out of the game. But if it's, if it's a penalty in the commission of you trying to do what you're supposed to do, right. then I guess they think it's okay, even if it's at the kid's head. I think that's just the thing that's with the nuts. cross, right? It's because nuts. Like, I think it's nuts. Like with the NBA, right? It's huh. two techs. You're out. Right. You know, okay. So why yeah, isn't it? Listen, why I when know, they're, when they're actually, learning the game, I know this is, is it not more listen, important? Just to exactly. play devil's advocate, and as somebody who has played the sport, Sometimes when you're running full speed across the field and you go to just do a completely legal body check, sometimes your arms go up and in, in, into the person's helmet. I mean, it's it's not necessarily something that you can control. And the reason that you're allowed those that certain amount of penalties is because it's Im- almost nearly impossible to determine whether or not there was like malicious intentions behind a hit or not. That kid could have been going for a completely legitimate check and he ended up hitting you're right if face. zach was eight foot four I'm not right. saying, him in his listen body. no stop mom i know you're i'm supposed to be defending my brother i'm yeah. not defending that kid i'm just saying that's the reason why um this kid just didn't get thrown on his out okay. of the game so, you're out of the game. family so let me so max so how do you yeah. defend that comment when two technicals in professional basketball throw you out five and if oh two technicals and if okay. anybody should know the professional should know no, okay, but that listen, sometimes there's a very fi- listen, there's a fine line between a technical foul and wait, like a flake, okay. A technical foul is different than um than a regular foul though, dad. A technical foul is something that you're given for like Lynn. It's it, it's basically anything else besides an in-game foul. It could be yes. like saying like mouthing to the refs. Uh-huh. I know what you're looking. I understand what you're saying. And I can see how there's other fouls that might be okay. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. And, and almost acceptable. But the stick with two hands on it to the helmet, it should never be no, acceptable. And no, you know, that's the thing with like... And it's not like he was diving to go for the body and the kid ducked down or tripped and accidentally hit his head. There's plenty of times when a stick hits a helmet and normally that's a penalty mm-hmm. if it's seemingly intentional, but the ref can see if it's just a flailing stick and he didn't mean for that to happen. Exactly. This to right. me looked very intentional. Yes. Kid was going for my child's head. And I don't care if it's whose child's head. It's not freaking right. I, my point is that I was probably on the giving end of hits like that when I was in high school. And I'm sure there were parents going, well, I'm not oh, happy about man. that now. But but I'm telling you, when you're sprinting <laughs> across the field and you go to check someone, sometimes your arms go up and into someone's helmet, and it's completely unintentional. And by the way, it's it a stupid sport. It, it's and by the way, it was that. a. And, and wait, by the way, okay. Go, and by the way, it was a late hit. By the way, it's not a stupid sport. It's a great sport. Can it's we see very it again? Exciting. Yeah, um, I want to yeah. see it again. But I want to know how how you felt, Sam. When you saw that hit. Well, here's the problem. I didn't head? see the hit. Oh, you missed it. Because we were watching because the shot. We watched the shot. That's that, exactly right. That just went wide and it happened over here. So all of a sudden, everyone goes, oh, it's like that proverbial uh, gas. Oh, yeah. Right. And then I look over and Zach is like laid out. Oh, but and now wait. that you see it on video, I mean. It oh, hurts. It hurts gnarly. to watch it. Yeah. It looks we like thought, it We watched out. it like 55 times. But did you guys see the moves on the kid? I mean, come on. He yeah. broke that kid's ankles. I mean, I'm talking about Zach. He's got some moves. Yeah, yeah he does. No, Zach's got some moves. And uh, that's another thing, Dad. When you... Okay, you can take my to, computer. Okay, okay. What I was going to say, to Keep do... Going. Look, if you watch Zach when he shoots, to, success, to do a, sh- a proper shot on goal, you need to basically lay your body out. You can't like uh, I understand. choke up. You can't pull back. Okay, stop and, talking for a sec. Hold on. Let's just watch this. And then once he's hit, then just watch his body go limp and down. Yeah, that's here comes. So he shoots. Here comes the kid. Boom. Watch. Nothing. Watch this kid come up. Why do you keep doing it? I didn't do anything. It just stopped. 
So he starts to get up and he goes, mm, no, that's not a good idea. I'm just going to sit here for oh, a minute. I know that, I know that feeling. Yeah, he never went back in the game, everybody. In I know that feeling. He was pulled and it was the first quarter. Yeah, and he was pissed. And mm-hmm. then that kid had three penalties in the game. Somebody told me it was three penalties that took the kid out. And when he got his third one, I started yelling at the parents that use an applause track on the other side of the field. Please give mm-hmm. me a break. That is so dumb. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop for a second. We're going to change up the subject. This show is not always about food. I'm going to read something. I'm going to read. I'm going to read a description of a place. That's one of the reasons why I could never be a restaurant critic or restaurant reviewer. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it with an English accent because really, it's ben- it benefits from this. This is about a place that we all know. And love. And it was written here? Yes. So he doesn't have an English accent. Oh, well, he could. Uh, no, he doesn't. No. He doesn't. I think it's actually a woman, <laughs> but it makes it even more obnoxious no, when I read good. it with an English accent. Here we go. <clears throat> the transition to refined luxury begins not at the door, but before it, with the restaurant's complimentary valet. <laughs> this is Wait a second. I've had valet in front of shitholes before. <laughs> I know. There's nothing about valet that makes the place luxurious. <laughs> a towering, windowless door of dark wood stands at the entrance, adorned only with embossed bronze plaque bearing the words. Now, when you read this line, <laughs> this windowless door of dark wood stands at the entrance. Adorned with only an embossed bronze plaque bearing the words, you expect something like, the most important people in the world pass through these doors. Life is amazing. Grab all of it you can. Have a wonderful evening. Something deep. Something deep, right? Here's what the plaque says. Proper attire suggested. (laughs) So why would you mention that in a review? Wow. Past a small alcove, the entrance opens to a bar and reception area, a surprisingly busy, bustling place. (laughs) It continues. This is hilarious. This is all valuable information, by the way. Can you believe it? (laughs) Deep mahogany paneling and dim Tiffany lamps set the stage for elegance. Low walls between booths were peppered with bronze Remington statues in a playful nod to the Old (laughs) West. So if there's a playful nod to the Old West, it's clearly a cowboy, rustic kind of place. We settled into our generous booth and felt at once at ease, surrounded by supple leather and white linen. Wait, and are we talking like velvet paintings of John Wayne kind of thing, or... Statues I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna right. just. I got one more. I know what this review is about. <laughs> it, uh, maybe I got two more. I don't know. <laughs> the first bite was awakening. A rush of. <laughs> a, <laughs> uh, it's insane. A rush of meaty lamb, followed by a second burst of spice. Tender doesn't begin to describe the texture. The crisp, perfectly seared, (laughs) spice-coated outside gave way to nothing less than moist, succulent velvet. Mm. Mm. I almost almost wish I I had ordered the lamb entree. I got one more. By the way, this review is 1,611 words. What? (laughs) On the way out... We paused in the tiny alcove between the bar and the exit, elegantly appointed with two wing-back chairs, a small lamp and table. Wait, Steve, you don't know what he's talking about? And framed autograph. No, I don't. Photographs. I have no idea. It afforded one last moment of calm before stepping out into the night. (laughs) Like the sports figures and celebrities whose autograph photos filled the walls, we agreed. Donovan's yes, had our it. seal of approval. <laughs> I knew it. As soon as you said, walked in with the bar, That's I knew it. Up. All right. That's our sponsor. We love Donovan. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> I knew it. If you say steak, I say Donovan's. Right, right, right. If you say seafood tower, I say Donovan's. Right. If you, if you say bar with BFCs, big effing cocktails, I say Donovan's. Right. But 
on the way, we paused in the tiny alcove between the bar and the ex. Who writes about the freaking plaque <laughs> that says right, proper attire suggested? Actually, that's what gave it away. I knew what you're talking about as soon as you said that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's talking about the Donovans in La Jolla, right? I barely talked about There's 1,611 words that's to this. That's crazy. <laughs> I guess Donovan just elicits that type of response yeah. from the I customers. Don't know. You know, the inner I guess poet. somebody wrote that inner review British and poet. it was <laughs> yes. It was insane. It's all true. Donovan's is an amazing place and you should go there and you should have a steak, you should have the Sam the Cooking Guy, Captain Crunch your tune, you should have a BFC and everything else that's there. Mm-hmm. But really, people, come on. <laughs> somebody out there is writing this and how much time do they spend on that? <laughs> a lot. Lordy lordy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I read that whole thing today. You did? In With a, the in accent in my head. Online? Online. Online. Yeah, absolutely online. You should just pick random Yelp reviews and read them in a British accent. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> by the way, this half hour of the live cast is brought to you by Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> With a bronze plaque at the door that says, proper attire required. <laughs> By the way, proper tire have gone in there in jeans before. I know. That, that's what does true. That mean? I don't think they want that's you. That's probably an old okay, school. You know what? I've seen guys in there. I've been in jeans and a nice shirt. Mm -hmm. Not this. Jeans and a collared shirt looking nice. And I've seen guys in there. What was the last big golf tournament that was here in yeah, town? Yeah, big golf tournament. Uh, the yeah. PGA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the thing at Torrey shit, Pines. Yeah, yeah. The Buick invitation. The yeah, Accenture. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Buick. So I don't Buick. think it's the Buick anymore. It's not the Buick anymore. Oh. I think it's now the Accenture, okay. yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're sitting in there, and we see guys walking in, mm -hmm. like wasted t-shirt, beer belly, right. shorts, yeah, and shoes. And they weren't turned like over. that's appropriate, right? So the point is, they'll let you in. <laughs> go for the food, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but don't go in the in looking stupid. It's a very nice restaurant. Please, Absolutely. by the way, you shouldn't go to a in a, a fabulous restaurant like that in a bad T-shirt with a beer big belly no and way. like the shorts. But if you do wear a T-shirt, wear the tux T-shirt. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can pull that off. Yes, right. You can pull that off, maybe. <laughs> uh, I have okay. one. Have we talked about the chew? Uh, Wait, I got a couple pictures. The ABC show, the Chew, right? The ABC show. We've talked about. I got a couple pictures. Hold on. Okay. Oh, by the way, the the tournament was the Farmers Insurance Open. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's what it farmers is. It's insurance. become the Farmers Insurance Open. It was in January. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. If you take my computer, mm -hmm. here's the Chew, and I I not only know I know. Geez, Mario Batali, Michael Simon, Mario Batali in orange, Michael Simon in the striped shirt, the girl that used to be on Top Chef. Ugh. On the right, and I have the, no idea who. And then uh, Dr. Oz's daughter, the little blonde, and then I can't remember his name. It's ABC show. It's essentially <laughs> Dr. Oz's daughter. Yeah, I know, and what? that's the only reason she's there because she's Dr. Oz's daughter. <laughs> There's a lot of. That I'm going telling around. you, the show is unwatchable, and if I play it now, it will get cut out of our YouTube thing, YouTube feed. So I won't do it. Uh, Her name is Daphne Oz. She's it's un watchable Is and really? i say this all the time michael simon who's an iron chef and a great chef and mario batali who's an iron chef and a great chef yeah I, I i have no idea how they're comfortable going there because i watched it today wait here's the other pictures here's the other pictures that will make you say here's the other one this is the only other one that you need to see i don't know what this day was jesus <laughs> wow. Oh my god. But goodness. but the two guys on the left, Mario and Michael, have absolutely Oh, Clinton Kelly. Uh oh, Carla is the girl in the middle. I find extremely okay. annoying. Daphne Oz, I don't know well enough, but Oh I will find her annoying. I know and why Daphne Clinton Oz Kelly is on the show. I find completely annoying. I know why Daphne is on the show. Why? That's a fake Because she's gorgeous. Because she's oh. yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is well, why you are thankful you are not on network television because they would have you standing there with, with the a mouse freaking ears. Mickey Mouse hat. That's no, true, I they think, would. I think that's a fake picture. Go back, go back to, to it. it. No, it's not. Look at wait, wait. that. Wait, no. oh, hold no, on, hold on. Go sorry. Wide. Yeah, one sec. Sorry. Oops. Oh, wait, you just went in, Dad. Oh, it you might be. Changed. This might be no, fake. No, go right wait. here to that guy. Dad, it's fake. Dad, you no, 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 look. It's fake. Watch. Zoom out, Dad. Look, so you need to go back to where I was. Yeah, zoom out normal. Go to make your computer normal. There you go. 
You were zooming Come in on. as I was zooming Come out. On. There, the, the Mikey. Look it's at totally his hat. fakey, man. It's totally fake. It's fake. Okay, wait. Okay, wait a sec. I got another picture. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. It, oh, why does it only look fake on him though? Okay, Everybody hold on. Get off, my, get, kind of get off my computer for a second. They just got lazy with that. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, wait. <laughs> I didn't look close enough. Just you wait. Okay, I just you wait. By the way, everybody loves your accents. Oh, they do. Thank you. It was all exciting. Oh, don't encourage so him. Thank you. Well, you know what? I don't want X Pro oh, in Russia. I love your X I don't want X Pro in Russia to be mad at me because I used a. Uh, by the way, Wait. we talked about what the Marlins manager said. <laughs> While well, you're Do you hear around. that? Yeah. It's on my screen right now. Stick with your stuff. The team's from where is it from? Florida. Florida. Well, Miami. Thank you. Thank you. Here's what he said. Talking about. Fidel Castro. I respect Fidel Castro. You know why? A lot of people have wanted to kill Fidel Castro for the last 60 years, but that motherfucker is still there. (laughs) (laughs) That's his reasoning? That was his reasoning. And he, do you realize how many Cuban Americans are there are in Miami? Yes. He pissed off a lot of people. A lot of people. And now he's having to, he's he's basically saying, he's going to eat his words. I'm an idiot. He's going to eat his words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he's handling, I think he's handling it the right way. And it might have just been, a, obviously, a flip, quick little comment that you don't mean to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't think it, so? It, you think he believes? That, okay, in conservative Cuban Southern Florida culture, Castro is no, you do not even slip up with um, well, with positive did. words about Castro. Well, I don't think that's he's probably, the That's probably true. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's but a slip up. But what was the rest of the statement? Are, is it, was there something else that he said? Was he making a point about survivors? Or um, I, don't, I don't know. They said it was. I don't know. That's a good question. Interview or something? I have no idea. But yeah, you reading the what do you? Oh. Well, I'm I'm looking for this other picture. I, I saw another picture today that just absolutely blew me away. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The stuff that I saw. I mean, I was watching some video today. It's because I heard the words "the chew" today on something, mm-hmm. and now I can't. Now I can't freaking find this stupid thing. Well, we can find it in uh, it, they were up tomorrow or something. We'll do it. And I thought, oh, that show has to be off the air now. <laughs> no, nope. and I know people have thought that about my show, nope. so I don't care. And so I went and I googled it, and there's new stuff. And I started watching. Wait, are we talking about the Chew still? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, well, it just started. I mean, they're in there. No, first it's season, been on for almost a year. Mm. Please. I guess that's a long. Of it. That's a you long. Time trust me, TV you don't want to watch it. Two quick emails that we got. Uh, Don Kowalski. Blah, blah, blah. Missed the show. Blah, blah, blah. Bacon guacamole changed our lives. Mm. <laughs> Recipes on the website. Mm-hmm. We just found the live cast six weeks ago or so. We're so damned excited to find it. Entertaining, informative, funny. Just a great all-round guy. Sorry. About time. What took you so long? <laughs> we, have a busy, we have busy schedules and don't watch much TV, but we make a point to watch the live cast every week. Thanks so much for entertaining all your fans and doing what you do every day. That was really nice. Yeah, That's thank cool. you. Yeah. Can we give a shout? Give them a shout out. Yes, it's a Donna and Tamara Kowalski. They went on to say some other crazy things. Mm. You make the lives of everyone around you better, Steve. <laughs> I've told you I make your life better. We've told our <laughs> friends, family, coworkers, those who haven't experienced you are missing you. Keep up the great work. Thanks. Oh, and also thanks for resurrecting and bringing fuckface back. <laughs> Stupid. Thank you very much. Jeez. That just disqualified everything else they said. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, The Chew, which reminds me a lot of Martha Stewart's uh, TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you ever watch it? Nope. Nope. Anybody here? Mm-mm. Nope. So I'm home a lot. So, I mean, I, I keep the TV on, whatever. Yeah, all the time. For the dogs I save. <laughs> right. Martha Stewart's being canceled. Her TV show's being canceled. Really? really? Yeah. Whoa, really? Yeah. Wow. It will do its last shows in April, and they say it will go out on an Oprah-like exit. A big deal. They'll make a big deal. Wait, sure. is she going to be forming her own network now? <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, they're saying that um, there are Martha Stewart's makeover shows in the in the in the at least in the in talks oh, okay mm-hmm. her doing makeover stuff so she's just moving on to the next thing i guess she's moving on to the next thing yeah, yeah. so it's not ratings um or it could be. i guess i guess it's not and by the way speaking of new shows there is soon to be a bacon reality show what what yeah what um, is it on a network show <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, they haven't. It's uh, it's in developments. 
The guys that have a company called, um, they're called the Bacon Boys. Have you heard of Bacon Salt? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay. I have some. It's in, in Bacon A's. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. those bacon guys. Bacon Lube? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think. Lube? I don't think they. Thank you, man. Oh, was Steve not here when we talked about bacon lube? Bacon no. lube. Oh, yeah. Steve. Oh yes, I think I was. That's ridiculous. Lynn's got a bacon. Can you see? There you go. There you go. But here's what it should be: <laughs> bacon lube. Yeah, that everything about it grosses me out. If you want, and I love bacon. But if you want your Johnson to taste and smell like anything, oh, gosh. it should be bacon. Stop. <laughs> Who's say, using bacon? If you've bought bacon lube, put your hand up. Mine's not up. It's just an example. Can you imagine? Lynn put his hand up. Lynn. Oh my gosh, really, Max? In the middle of coitus, <laughs> somebody says, Do now, I now, smell boys. bacon? <laughs> so this is, is a bacon is cookbook, bacon soda. This is a soda? site that I browse all the time. They're wow. obsessed with bacon. It's called Uncrate. Yeah. And they. I think they had bacon lube at some point in time. Bacon oh frosting. God. Bacon floss. Oh, oh my see, goodness. I some of that. Bacon toothpaste. Bacon soap. Oh, wait. Okay, so there was a little Facebook conversation about the bacon ex baconator yeah, extreme. So the right. bacon explosion. So Bacon explosion. So someone actually yeah, sent yeah, me the recipe away. for bacon Is this explosion, as a result as of is, bacon lube? No, no, no. no it's okay. basically... Okay. No. Sorry. <laughs> Steve. No, but we've all, but we've all, no, but we've, but we've oh, all seen man. the... I'm sorry. You guys are talking about one thing. Bacon lube leads the bacon explosion. Sorry. I'm sorry. Steve... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's gross. Anyway, dude. bacon explosion time. So bacon explosion is a weave of bacon Ew. that you bake and inside it has a layer of sausage, as a layer of barbecue sauce, yeah. a layer of bacon, and then you wrap it up and you smoke it. And so Brian oh, from Facebook wanted you to do video one of this? in your smoker. There was, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Lynn? Brian from Facebook wanted you to do this in your smoker, in your Traeger. Ooh. Oh, I'll totally do that. Which by the way reminds me of something that Max suggested that I think is a really great idea. Hey Lynn. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bacon, that commercial that I sent you, yeah, can we play that? And let's make sure we've got audio up when we start it. Mm -hmm. It's my new favorite commercial. Mm -hmm. I find it a little creepy at the end. <laughs> Have you seen this thing? Runs on the day the Marlins offense Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. One second, we'll nice. get it up. That wasn't right. Um, so uh, let me just let me, I knew that was coming. let me explain this. I knew that was coming. You walked right into that. Let me explain this. <laughs> Max suggested maybe uh, people send in recipes, uh, and we, we consider making them. So I thought we could have a viewer recipe of the week. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, we might. I would hope it could be of the week. It maybe end up being every two weeks or every three weeks. But it could be the bacon recipe of a Thursday, and the idea would be that people would send in recipes, but they have to be in the <laughs> Sam the Cooking Guy style of what we do here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only a handful of ingredients, mm -hmm. only a few steps, and they have to be completely normal things. Mm -hmm. Should we say we can, well, it has to be that we can do it in one show, right? I mean, and, and, and like anything that I would make, and I'm doing something tonight that's very simple, uh, we'll do it on the show. Mm -hmm. And if we do it on the show, We'll send you Max, and he'll bring uh, spent 9-volt batteries to you <laughs> try on your tongue. <laughs> we have a lot of those. <laughs> right, you want to roll, roll this commercial? Oh, my God. I'm so funny. I make myself laugh. <laughs> yes. Jeez. Volume up. Here we go. Mom. Wait. I'm getting married. <gasps> Who's the girl? It's not a girl. It's bacon. <laughs> If you love bacon, make it official. Get ready. Bacon, you look beautiful. <laughs> Wait. With my new BLT cheeseburger, a 100% beef patty loaded with hickory smoked bacon, plus fries and a drink for just $4.99. You may now eat the bride. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so he says you may now eat the bride. You may now eat the bride? <laughs> I have to admit, I laughed out loud when I saw I laughed out loud when I saw it too. It's pretty funny. And we've tried like hell to get the actual Jack with the head here. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and we actually, haven't been able to figure it but out. They were cool about it. They were, they were very cool. And the best they've said is we could do like a like a, like a Skype thing. Mm -hmm. And we might do it. We That'd might be do fun. it. That would be, be fun. So I, fun. Now I, you know, I'm now reinvigorated to, to re look at this relationship again because I don't eat at Jack in the Box a lot, but I like their food. Yeah. I especially like their variety. Yeah. I love their ads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That ad agency is actually here in San Diego. They're here too. in San Diego. Yeah. 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 
That's hilarious. I don't eat fast food a lot. Well, but no. when I do, I Jack, so. Jack is here in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, the ad agency is too. I don't think the ad agency that's done those is. I'm pretty. I, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We have secrets here that we can't <laughs> share. You guys are dorks. So I'm speaking, hungry. Speaking Let's cook. But I can't cook something. Can we see a bacon on the bacon foot before we go cook? Yes. Yes, Some absolutely. Some Addy corn. Oh, snap. Bacon what? turtles. Those are bacon turtles? Yeah, the little hot dogs. Little this. sausages for feet. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. That's awesome. Thanks, Addy. Okay, we are absolutely doing the bacon explosion in that amazing smoker that you have. Yeah, I have when? the recipe. The only Should problem I got have the with that yeah. is when I was in Hong Kong, we were at a mm-hmm. restaurant that sold turtles. Turtles. Oh, so geez. I get like... Gross. They really looked like turtles. <laughs> that's kind of freaky. They did. I was like, oh, that's good. Oh, it looks like oh. a turtle. Mm. Why don't you just throw a turducken in with No, those? I'd rather oh, have the, the bacon way, explosion. The menu had pitchers. Oh, oh, oh geez. Geez. By the way, Steve and I are going to a, a private home Friday night for an annual event called Meat Fest. That's all I can say. I don't know very much about it. Okay, Gary's. <laughs> no, it's not right, right. Was I invited? Oh, wait, that came right. out wrong. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I know. We're going to a big party it's, called it's Meat, meat Fest. It's like <laughs> gonna have a meat party. steak and ribs and that kind of, of meat. <laughs> I'm not packing meat, so apparently I'm is. not invited. No, there's no women invited. That's a good name for a gay bar, Meat Fest. <laughs> <laughs> or packing meat. In fact, the guy, the guy who's hosted is Bill has it when his wife and a daughter are out of town because right. he knows they don't want to be around the mass consumption of of meat and al- i'm sure alcohol and whatever yeah mm. whatever it is It'd be good times can we take pictures will you ask him if we can take pictures absolutely i don't see why Dude, you bring your camera he'd probably love it video okay all <laughs> this meat all this meat talk is making me real well, well, i hope you're not going to be disappointed what are you making? Well, I don't because what? What, are you, what is he making? I was going to say, I hope you're not disappointed because I'm making a salad tonight. Oh. oh. Hey, I but, there, but, but. Your salad's been really good. Like it's it. a salad. It's a salad uh, in the style of a salad they serve at Donovan's, mm. which is a steakhouse, which wouldn't serve any like little girl kind of dainty one piece of mm-hmm. sectioned orange I get and first some dibs. oil. Do you know what it is? No, but I get first dibs. Oh, you, you might hate it. <laughs> Oh, I know. I think I'm. Gonna I'm making it. the liver salad. Shut up. Oh no! Don't even say that. Okay, wait. Before we go cook, yeah. I just want to go cycle through my three favorite pictures in live cast history. Number one, a younger Sam the cooking guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh wait, 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 wait! You got to take my com- my picture. My uh, I got oh, a picture of your grandma. That. Don't worry. Wait, Max. The best part about that picture is uh-huh. Sam's There's reaction, good I know. About which it. you never Stop see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two, yes. the babies. Who are so cute. Aww. And Aww. number three, oh. boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. Okay, wait. Here's a new uh, little Sam that I got this from grandma, my mom, this weekend. This is me very young. Look at That's me. Are you the little kid? The little white one? Here's my dad right here. But look at the pants. Look how narrow. Whoa. Doesn't it look like Mad Men? Yeah, it totally does. It really does. My dad had a welding and industrial supply business. This was like a reopening. It was an anniversary. So, of course, they're cutting, not the ribbon, but they're cutting the chain oh. with an acetylene torch. <laughs> wow. And look at everybody. White shirts, skinny black ties, mm-hmm. skinny pants, mm-hmm. and me. Look at the shoes. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I still stand that duck-footed way now. <laughs> but look how cute it is. Don't I look like a young JFK? Remember when little JFK was never JFK mind. Jr., you mean? <laughs> yes, 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 JFK Jr. All right, I'm ready. Everybody ready? We're ready. Let's do it. Let's go cook. All right, so the salad we're making is a classic old school wedge. And it's funny that I just mentioned Mad Men because... Whoa, watch your mic. I did, sorry. It's funny that I just mentioned Mad Men because this is when, th- that's the era that would have had this salad. And it's the salad that I order when, when, I, go away, when I go out. So it needs a little bacon. So we're just gonna cut a little bacon and this is the, the ready bacon that you know we've talked about that I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I would love to go through all of our old recipes yep. through this show and see how many times we've used bacon. Yeah, you're right. Do you think it's over well, no, 50%? So I, thought it was a, I thought that's why it was a, a, 
appropriate that uh, we were talking bacon tonight that we use bacon for something. But I didn't want to go overboard bacon. So I just thought this would be perfect. Okay, so we've got a little bacon cooking there. Uh, let's see, we need the wedge. I've already, I've taken, and the beautiful thing about this is it uses an iceberg lettuce. And the iceberg lettuce is, if you hit this little bottom part, watch how it comes out. No way. The little core just Whoa. comes right out. You don't need that. Um, these were 99 cents, and I, I love them because they're not expensive. I love a wedge. And then just like this, we get them on a plate. Yeah, that's a nice looking wedge. It's perfect. It's a beautiful little wedge. See, right? I knew I was in for a good night. Oh, yeah. That's a good night for me. <laughs> you know, anything salad a you're going to like. Okay, but watch. So, Forget the a couple meat. other things. I got the wedge. <laughs> okay, so right, we got this going. Uh, I need to make a little, uh, this, the dressing. And look, the easy way, uh, the easy way to do this is to just buy blue cheese dressing. You can do that, but I'm going to show you how to make uh, your own. Really? So I need some mayo. Wow. I need some of this. Pretty cool. And look, it's very simple. If you have the piece of sh <laughs> the hell is Oh yeah, if you have the ingredients. I got the, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. If you have the ingredients. Wait, it, wait, wait, Sam. Yeah. Make it as good as usual. <laughs> Don't start pulling different stuff out. No, I'm not. I, now I just need realize I need a bigger bowl. Wait, Dad, make yeah. it good, not bad, please. <laughs> <laughs> please sometimes don't make it bad. He has a he has an issue with Grandma Ruth, and sometimes he makes things that are fabulous and fantastic, and the next time he goes, he can't remember the recipe. So My grandmother was an amazing cook, um, but she liked to experiment after she made something a certain way, and I like to do that. I don't like to make things the same way, so. Give me a break. Okay, Gary. Okay. <laughs> so here's what we've got. We've got some uh, sour cream that will go in like this. We've got about the same amount of mayo that goes in like this. We're going to throw some crumbled blue cheese in. Don't overwhelm. I mean, you know what? Some blue cheese is really fantastic. Too much blue cheese is ridiculously over the top and can I agree and can piss you off. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to be nobody wants to be pissed off. No. Nope. We need a little milk, and the milk amount is sort of approximate based on how much blue cheese you put in and how creamy you like it. A little Worcester. And that's it. I'm going to put a little pepper in here. So let me ask a question. Yep. Um, would you say that you could kind of regulate the fattiness slash calorie count of your own homemade blue cheese dressing more than you could a store-bought one? Absolutely. You could look at, you could use mm -hmm. low-fat sour cream, mm -hmm. low-fat mayonnaise. You could almost use non-fat mayonnaise, yeah. and I think you probably would be okay. There you go. I think that's awesome for a lot of people because I'm sure that the calories turn a lot of people off from the blue cheese dressing. What well, is? But you know what? It's like anything. I say moderation. The moderation thing, mm -hmm. you know? Don't eat and heat a ton things. of it. And heat changes <laughs> things. Oh, God. Max, I love that. You know, you're going to say that to your own kids one day. I, right? I will. And they're going to go, Dad, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> when you overcook the fish. I can't believe and no, somebody should have made a t-shirt, the Sam Livecast, heat changes things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that true. would have been There was a bunch of things. Except and you know what? Up. Poor Scott. Just let me address. Scott Strabel is a, a dedicated fan of the Livecast or Maybe used to be. Right. He's in Phoenix, and he got mad at me when we were talking about some of the um, t-shirt stuff. T-shirts that were suggested. Really? Submissions. T-shirt submissions. He thought that we were we were not polite, and people spent time and and all I said I don't remember what I said. The point was it was not what we would want to wear on a shirt. If we pissed you off, Scott, I apologize. He's not here tonight, Sam. Uh -huh. 
Maybe he'll watch the show That's back. That's sad. Boom. That's really good. It needs a little bit more salt. Salt smells good. I can tell you oh, that. Oh, bacon. Okay, oh, so bacon's done. The bacon. Bacon's done there. <laughs> This is good. A little bit tangier. And you know what would be good in this? Hmm. I honestly don't know if this is something that normally goes in. What are you putting? I'm going to put a little garlic in. Ooh. Really? Oh. Just a little bit. It's going to be great. Does it, everything taste better with garlic? And bacon, apparently. There we go. Erica okay. says to substitute non-fat Greek yogurt. Oh, yeah. That's, That's probably a good call. For sure. Yeah, the Greek yogurt is awesome. And Brian is asking about the peppercorns for the dressing. Mm. What about them? What about the peppercorns for the dressing? <laughs> what uh, about them? What, what do you mean? I put, I put some fresh pepper in? No? I just did. Okay. Brian, pay attention. <laughs> no, maybe he has another question. Maybe you're being mean. What no, do you he says, what do you mean what by pep peppercorn? What about what do you dressing? what do you mean about peppercorn? Like are you, are peppercorn and pepper different things? Well, the pep I put peppercorns for whole peppercorns in there. There you go. Okay. Into the grinder. Got it. So then you can do that, mm -hmm. right? Hey, while you're uh, doing that, can I show off a little bit of my work? Yes. Well, last night I made a pie. Strawberry Get coconut. Out of here. What? Really? Look at that shit. That's taken on my iPhone. And you completely wove it? What? Oh yeah. Though you I do. Did I, not. Yes, I did. I did. I did the whole really? thing. Jilly knows. I did the whole thing by myself. Look at that. It was so good, by the way. Welcome to the Gary. That's Club. raspberry. I know. You're talking about that's going to a meat party. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Gary, and Gary. Oh man. Join the club. Just because I like making strawberry pies, Steve. No, I like it, Max. I like it. Max, there's nothing wrong with that. And how that. was no, it? No, that looks good. Yeah, how was it? Yeah. It was unbelievable. Okay. Jilly doesn't normally like pies, and she was all over it. She you was gotta all over it. you got to sit in that tangy chair. Oh, yeah. She'll be so proud yeah, of me. but why didn't you bring a piece here tonight? I know. I, I don't know. I blew it. I'll bring it for Wednesday. Well, we don't want old fucking That's pie old. on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't so want I'll, old I'll, pie. No I guess I'll have to make a new one. Yeah, bring it to the live cast. No big deal. All right, so I want tomato with this. Okay. Tomato, so that's just going on top of the wedge, obviously. Yeah. Anything else? Yep. Tomatoes. We got the bacon. The sauce, the bacon, the wedge. All right, so this is here, ready to go. Get out of here. Uh, I want a little avocado. Oh. You really? don't have to. Oh, Once yeah. So in, boys, here's the deal. I'm the first no, I think yeah. it's so good, but typically on a wedge. The, no, the avocado is not traditional, yeah. but I really, I really like it. Hey, right. so something that I've come to realize since Jilly has moved down from Canada to California is that avocado is not something that's as readily available outside of California as it is here. Mm -hmm. We put it on everything sandwiches, salads, I mean, burritos, literally everything. And outside, it's more of a. Delicacy? Special, delic special thing, I was going to say. Yeah. It is. Even in, when I was in Texas, I was trying to make my dad a recipe of yours that required avocado. Oh, really? Yeah. It was and very hard to find. Yeah. And when I did find them, they were like hard and... Or, and expensive, I'm sure. And very expensive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go, kids. Right? Uh, before I do this, let me say, do you know what Wednesday is? Anybody? I do, I, I do, do, I, I do. do. I do, I do. It's the Sam Livecast coming to you live from Fixtures Living here in San Diego. But you can be there. It's a remote livecast. Fixtureslivingcom Find their location in San mm -hmm. Diego. It's on Dowdy Street. Mm -hmm. We'll be there broadcasting live from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'll be outside grilling on a massive, beautiful grill. Mm -hmm. Ale Smith. Beer will be there pouring for you to taste. San Diego Word Micro. Up. And you can just come hang. Just come hang at Fixtures. For Us free. doing this, you'll for see beautiful free. Steve Blue Steel <laughs> back there. <laughs> Dude, Max, mm -hmm. Lynn, hey June will the be there. Game. I'll be there. Kelly will be there. We'll be will the dogs be there, Kelly? I am coming from work, so I can't so stop probably here not. And bring the dogs. We'll no, see I if we can stop. get the dogs. 
Yeah. But it'll be lots of fun. You, if you've wondered what the live cast looks like live when we do this, come to Fixtures Living this Wednesday. We start at 6. You come as early as 5.30, 5.15. We don't really mm -hmm. care. We'll be set up. We'll be ready. Come hang out. Talk to us. Say hi. We can have some fun. We can have a beer. I'll cook some stuff. We can enjoy that. It'll be really fun. We're looking... For, and, and, of course, you can see Fixtures Living, which when it comes to... Kitchen, bath, and outdoor mm -hmm. is the best place on the planet. Mm -hmm. I want to use the grill and the Evo, which is my favorite thing. Yeah. And considering it's Patio Nation Month, and they're demoing these things every Friday and Saturday, and they demoed the Evo last Friday. Oh, my God. I can't wait. And guess what? Yes. It's free. Oh, my God. It's free. free. Just come. Yeah. Just come. Free. And if you can't be there till 6.15, then once we're started, that's cool. Just come. I'll probably make fun of you as you're yep. walking late. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> you mean you will make fun of them as they walk in? I can't help myself. Okay, so here's what this looks like, right? You want the stuff on top of the dressing. So just the dressing on top. How beautiful, right? Oh, yeah. Look, that's nice. So a little tomato all the way. A little bit of the uh, avocado diced. Looks oh, my very God. nice. <laughs> Becky doesn't... says the burner is still on, Sam. Oh shit! Did you uh -oh. turn it on? <laughs> Do you know what? Wow, she's really good. I'll Thanks, be honest. Becky. The last two days that I've made something for Zach, about an hour later, Zach's gone. Oh no! Do you want that burner on? <laughs> I'm like, no, man, I don't want that burner on. Oh, the bacon. And of course, some bacon on top, right? Nice. How pretty a little wedge is that? I'm gonna give it. Uh, here it is. Just some fresh ground pepper at the end. That's a pretty set. Check that out. How, many, how much prettier does that get? Wait, what side do we want? Okay. Where are you? <laughs> Which camera? Let's go to Steve. Oh, go to me. Steve, right. you go tight, yeah. Look at that. That's oh. a gorgeous freaking salad, right? Can I be served tonight? Yes. Thank you. After that this? really good. No. I'll make you one. You mean okay. now? After. It's okay. Fine. <laughs> so one bite, right? We just a quick cut in the middle. And here's the thing about a wedge. It's the crispiness of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Is really my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Though the bacon and the tomato and the avocado are pretty damn good, I love how crispy these things are. Okay. You can hear the crunch through your microphone, mm -hmm. by the way. Okay, it's that good. The dressing is not overwhelming in blue cheese. You get the crunch of the bacon, the beautiful tomato on this thing. Oh my God, it's all good. Wait, I need a little bit more of this. Okay, make this, please. Mm -hmm. right. Anybody can pull out a bottle of blue, a bottle of blue cheese dressing. Mm -hmm. This is not going that much further to mix these one, two, three, what, four, five ingredients? You got to learn a little bit. This is the way to go. This is amazing. Kelly's going to be very happy. We come to you live from Fixtures Living Wednesday night. We want you to join us there. Come out, say hi, have some Ale Smith beer, hang out with us. And if you're not, make sure you watch. Tell your friends. Thanks for being here. Go to iTunes, download it, Stitcher Radio. Anything else, Max? We're good. We're good. See you guys on Wednesday. Peace.